Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Star, and today we're back drawing more Jujutsu Kaisen fan art. And it's Choso again, because I have no self control. I just love drawing Jujutsu Kaisen fan art so much. It's like I could I could draw some other anime. I just I don't know why I don't. But anyway, we're gonna be finishing up this drawing. I drew this off screen, well off camera, because I didn't plan on recording it. This whole drawing wasn't really planned at all. It was just supposed to be a warm-up sketch of like a reference I saw on Pinterest. Like I had no plans of turning it into fan art or anything, but while I was doing it, I thought I could turn it into fan art. I was going to do Gojo. And then I kind of switched back and forth between doing Gojo, Choso, or Gato. And then I ended up just settling on Choso. I felt like his version looked the best. And I love Choso's fan art of him with his hair down. For this drawing, or for mostly like the line art part, I was going for more of a manga look. So I was trying to do like my heavy shadows as I was doing the liner to make sure I get the dark like contrast between the white and the black. You'll see it a lot better once the liner is done, but I tried to do a lot of my shadows like with my lines, like the sketchy lines, which I don't usually do, but I wanted to try that because I think that's where I want my art to go. Like more so in general, I like like the sketchy like pen marks and stuff. So I try to do that for this one. I still haven't finished the manga and my little brother has been on my neck about it. I just don't, I don't want to, like I'm tired of the pain and the suffering and the sadness. I just want to, I just want to draw my cute little pictures of them being alive and well and stylish. Everyone gets a happy ending in my brain and the story is never over if I never finish it. So. I don't know. I'm gonna finish it. I'm gonna finish it before this year's over. I guarantee it. I told my brother I was gonna finish it in three days, but three days passed five days ago. So I don't know. I just don't. I'm not in the mood for it. I don't. <laughs> Am I really in the mood to put myself in a bad mood? Not really. So. We'll see. I'm just going to keep drawing my little cute pictures and once I get the motivation to finish the manga, I will. If you have finished the manga, without any spoilers, tell me what you thought about it or how it made you feel. I'm just, I just want, I don't know. I just want to know. I started trying to draw Nanami Kento again. And it's just, it's not going well. It's not going well at all. I, after this drawing, I tried recording like a sketching video of Nanami and it's just, it's just so hard. I hate, I hate having to draw him. I love him as a character and I want to do so much fan art of him, but it just, it doesn't work out. It never works out. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. It's just like how, maybe how sharp his facial features are. Maybe this just doesn't go well with my art style or something because it just never, it never looks right. His face always turns out weird. Even the last one, like I finished, looking at it now, I do not like this drawing. I don't know, his face just looks off to me. And I tried drawing him multiple times after that and I never get past the sketching phase because I just... I just can't do it. I really want to go back and finish it and try to record it for a video, but it's just, I don't know what it is about his face. I just can't, I can't draw it. I think I'm going to go back and try to finish the one I recently started, but I might have to finish the sketch off camera because having, having to record it, it makes it puts more pressure. It puts more pressure on the drawing. And I really feel like I need to focus to get this drawing right. 
but I need to make sure I didn't delete the other footage that I had. Sometimes if I get really frustrated with a drawing and I'm recording it, I'll just go straight in and just delete it and then later on regretting it because it wasn't actually that bad. I just did that last night with a OC video I was recording. I was getting really frustrated with drawing his hair that I just went in I just deleted all the footage just all of it and it's like I don't know why I do that it just it makes me feel better <laughs> for like a few minutes maybe just a few seconds and then I'm like dang I feel I could have used that I don't know I don't know like deleting the footage feels like punching a wall or something speaking of OCs the part two to my Karma and Jace video should be up before this video. I'm recording this voice over the day, the day I'm supposed to upload that video, so it should be up. Part one was me sketching them, and part two was the line art in the rendering, pretty much. I really hyper fixated on them for a few weeks. Like, I was spending all of my time thinking about them listening to their playlist I have and just drawing them over and over well I drew them three times that's kind of a lot I don't usually draw my OTs that much but yeah I really I was like obsessed with them for a few weeks and it's like well just now this week I kind of just had to take a step back I feel like because I was getting real I was getting in real life sad <laughs> thinking about them all the time like I was just just sad all the time because their story is pretty sad pretty much the last straw was like four days ago while I was at work like listening to their Spotify playlist and writing like writing parts of their story in Notion and stuff and it's just like like something just clicked in my brain like the ending of their story like I thought I knew how it was going to end I was like yeah okay that's you know that would be cool but I had a different idea and it just it depressed me so bad <laughs> it made me so sad like I like I really wanted to cry and it's literally my story so I could change it but it's like when something clicks in my brain like that it's it's pretty much set in stone at that point and I'm just it's stuck I can't I can't change it now so how I'm not gonna say how it ends because I still have I still might change it we'll see but I don't know it just made me really sad to think about so I kind of just stopped <laughs> I didn't really want to work on it anymore because even writing it I started writing like their last fight down in Notion and I only got halfway through it I was like I can't do this anymore I don't want to work on it anymore hyper fixation is over just leave me alone <laughs> So to get myself to maybe work on it, I just am telling myself that I can give myself an alternate ending. Like I can do like a good ending, bad ending type of thing. The bad ending would be the true ending, but I could all I could just do one to where they end up happily together. So we'll see. We'll see how that works. Because it doesn't really make sense, like putting them together at the end, because Jace like, he ends up not really being that good of a person. <laughs> so, just, if I put them together at the end, that's like a bad ending for Karma. And I can't, I don't know if I can do that to her. I don't know, we'll see. But anyway, we're coming close to the end of this video. And after, after I recorded this, I did, like, I added extra stuff to, like, the background afterwards. And that turned out really good, I think. I'm going to put the pictures up at the end. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you come back for the next one. Bye!